you know, COVID has done a lot of awful things, but I think it forced us as educators to embrace this um, online platform and this, this blended learning approach. If you look at it from the teaching perspective, what it really does, I think, is it, it, it provides teaching staff with an incredible platform where they can do so much more creative teaching than if we're constrained by a physical environment. It really allowed me to explore avenues of teaching or techniques of teaching that I'd never used before. And I think it's not just about the content, it's also how you engage with students on that platform. It also allows much more collaboration between, or much more conversation between the student and, 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 and the lecturers if you're using platforms like um, chat rooms and um, other Vula platforms. One of the things we learned was that it was always important to stay in touch with our students to allay the anxieties that were happening. Because when students are at, at campus, uh, they are able to access a lot of services which they couldn't access while they were at home. The, the opportunities to get the kinds of messages across to the students were far richer in this kind of blended learning digital environment. Um, you know, combining the video content with some, uh, you know, maybe some course notes and then the quizzes to consolidate things. It's been a steep learning curve, I think, for both uh, us as teachers uh, or lecturers and, and, and students. It's a challenge when you're hoping, wanting to run synchronous learning activities, because obviously in synchronous teaching, you can actually really engage with students. But we know that this digital divide has exacerbated the gap between those students who have access to technology and those who don't. So if you choose to engage only in asynchronous teaching activities, you miss the interaction. So then the interaction has to come in another form. It is a little uh, stressful if uh, you look at it from the angle of the length of time to, to get the expertise and the, and the, um, you know, the ability to work seamlessly. But once you get that uh, part right, I think it becomes a, a, a tool that can really enable a lot of flexibility and, and innovation. It can be quite challenging because you've got to be incredibly organised. You can't rely on wandering into a lecture theatre and talking for 45 minutes. The staff have really had to look at what they teach, the sequence that they're teaching it. And I think there's been an unexpected clarity in the way that courses have been structured and delivered. The, the back end of producing quality education materials um, was very informative. Um, and the feedback from the students who, who've done the course, and we're close to 2,000 um, students who graduated doing the, the online uh, organ donation course that we put together, um, has been very rewarding and, and positive. Digital education and blended learning, from my experience at the moment, I think offers the students an opportunity to interact with the material a bit longer than is allowed within a, a conventional lecture. Students said that they, they liked being able to go through the video content um, at their own pace. They liked being able to go back to it um, uh, for revision. They liked that it was in the comfort of their own home. Some of them, some really struggled because the home circumstances were difficult. They liked the fact that the content that we made was um, very entertaining and, and interactive. So, you know, if they were to compare that to our usual lecture program, which would be a lecturer standing usually with PowerPoint and sort of talking at them, um, they found this to be a much more um, enriching experience. Students can access that education from wherever they are in the world and also 
at whatever time they want to access it. Specifically for UCT, we are able to reach a lot more students um, than you'd all, often always do in class. And uh, it has made us realize definitely that teaching and learning is not a, uh, a process that is confined to the physical and temporal um, context of the lesson that is taking place in the classroom, um, that uh, actually teaching and learning happens in various um, spaces and uh, at various points in time, and that you, you, we cannot isolate it to the classroom space. As UCT libraries, we've been able to see how we function within a remote environment, how we've been able to migrate seamlessly to a virtual environment and knowing that we are able to embed ourselves within the teaching um, direction or focus that would be embraced by the university. Um, the, the contemporary academic library is designed to, to support a digitally mediated education as well digitally mediated teaching initiatives as well. Digital education has become a window uh, for us to uh, also expose students to other resources across the globe on a particular topic. And I think that it relates quite well to UCT's uh, strategic goal of uh, fostering partnerships with the globe while um, offering something that is uniquely African. I'm never going to go back to the way we used to do teaching before. This experience has totally changed uh, the way we're going to be doing things going forward. I imagine UCT's teaching over the next decade to depend quite closely on the kinds of technological facilities that are available to our students. To the extent that students have sufficient bandwidth, I think we will do a fair amount of blended learning, that the students will find that exciting, that they will be able to join in, and that they can then combine that with in-person teaching in a way that makes the subject that they are learning broader and more, more accessible. And I don't think that there is anybody who really wants to go back completely to the old way because we've all realized how incredibly powerful it is to teach online when you can do it well. I don't think we'll ever revert to a purely lectern, uh, almost pastoral type of teaching where I as the teachers stood in front um, and, 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 and I uh, dispersed my knowledge or I shared my knowledge with the students while they were seated on the other side of the lecture hall. I think what we've learned um, about the online teaching platform is that at best we'll have a blended learning structure. I truly believe that UCT's teaching will be a hybrid um, with elements of contact, but obviously um, digitally mediated learning will be predominant and will prevail to a large extent. I think we must take all the lessons that we've had from COVID and now go and, and execute proper, well thought out and well planned out blended learning um, for students. From a library's perspective, we recognize that the transformation of the education system is inevitable. And as UCT libraries, we are committed to inculcating a global learning environment wherein students, be they South African or non-South African, are able to assimilate, adapt, and to respond to their learning needs in an environment that is, that is actively supportive of their learning. I envisage that live sessions will not just be for the dissemination of content, but it will be there for discussion, for extending students' understanding of concepts, um, and even critically engaging and challenging um, commonplace ideas that we hold. I imagine my students being able to, um, you know, do their assignment in their social context, uh, meaning that students will be able to 
take to be cognizant of their lived realities instead of being shielded in 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 a UCT bubble that doesn't necessarily reflect where they have to work afterwards. But I think it will also be the kind of space whereby academics are more exploratory, more innovative, together with the support divisions such as the libraries that will enable the learning, um, both teaching and learning, to be a dynamic process. Digital education is the way of the future. We are competing for the student's attention span and we need to compete in the modern digital medium. We're going to see increased use of technology that enables people to meet online more so we can reduce our carbon footprint. I think UCT's teaching will look to expand beyond the confines of the physical classroom. Uh, its, its ability to, is to reach further into the African continent and, and outside of Africa itself. This is a really fantastic way for us to cross borders. We are constrained obviously by bandwidth issues and by access to technology in many places, but I think that COVID-19 has really highlighted the need for countries and people to invest in better technology so that education can truly be accessible to everybody. I think the future looks very bright for us if we can capitalize on everything that we've done.